Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks in Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today, I will also try to discuss about a very important topic, so mainly population. How we can easily estimate the number of people residing in each cell, grid cell. So, we can easily use in Google Earth Engine platform one kind of data set. So, basically, the data set name is that world population data set. We can easily use this data set. And we can easily find out the global high resolution contemporary data on human population distribution. So here you can see it's one kind of band. So basically, this band name is the population, and this band mainly estimated the number of people residing in each grid cell. And you can see what is the resolution, mainly what is the pixel area. So basically, this data set is the per pixel area size is 92.77 meter. So this data set mainly capable to estimate the number of people in 92.77 meter area pixel area of people residing in each grid cell here that we can find out the cell size is the 92.77 meter so we can easily use this data and we can easily find out the distribution of population so here you can see this is the data set uh, description about that here you can see there is a lot of information about this data set so in this time, I just use this data and try to show you that how we can easily work with that. And we can easily uh, filtering this data using the ER as well as we can also filtering the data you, by country. We can easily do it for all of those countries because it's a global data set. You can see the global project population data. So in this time, you can see this type of map I can create. And also you can see about the legend about this map. So we can easily identify uh, this type of color, identify about the high distribution of population, and this type of color identify about the low distribution of the population. So we can easily find out this type of region is the low distribution about the population, and this type you can see we can find out the high density or high distribution of the population, this type of region. So this is the map, and this map is estimated the number of people residing in each grid cell in Bangladesh. So now how I can create this type of map, I will show you that one by one. So first of all, here you can see this is the data set. In this time we are using this data set, world population, global project population data. So first of all, I need to simply import my study area. So this is my study area. And then I simply import my image collection and then select the band. Mainly it's a, this band name is the population band. And further I just create the visualization parameter. And then further I simply find out the, what is the maximum population. Okay, so just use here the max and clip with my study area. So now it's create this type of map. So now we can easily get this type of map uh, about the where the high density of the population had the low density of the population. And this data set is the globally data set. If you want, you can check the data set for the globally. So for that, you can simply uh, remove this part. Suppose I simply clip, I just simply remove this part. And then I have to show this data set for that whole world. So now it uh, computing the result for the whole world population. Easily get it here. You can see it loaded for the whole world population. And this type of symbol it's identified for that high density of the population. So here you can see you can easily find out this type of region is the high distribution of the population. It shows this type of result. And further, if you want to clip with your uh, shape file a specific boundary, then it represented for the population data for the specific boundary. Okay. So this is the process for estimating the number of people residing its grid cell. So also try and further face any problem then let me know i also guide you no problem so in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program so basically this online training program will be start from uh 15 
March 2024. Now this grace range is the opening and uh, first 10 this rector will get the 50% discount already join total four people. So now only six seats are available for this 50% discount. So basically it's a totally seven days online training program for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the Google Earth engine or who don't have any knowledge about the coding mainly Python or JavaScript. If you have no knowledge about the coding section, don't worry about that. You can learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level, this online training program. So we will take that total seven days online training program. Class will be taken only for the Friday and Saturday in a week. And each day three hours, we take this time. And uh, mainly it will be this time we take the class 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So you have to check about the time. And you can, uh, if you want to join this online training program, simply you can contact with this WhatsApp number as well as uh, you can also contact with this email for getting the further information. So basically in this online training program, you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level on Google Earth Engine. So mainly we try to cover the land use, land cover classification, then change detection analysis, air quality monitoring, then time series analysis. We also talk about the R1 heat island, as well as also talk about the R1 thermal uh, field variance index. We talk about the different types of machine learning supervised and unsupervised okay so there's a lot of things will be covered in this online training program and i already added the full course syllabus in the video description you can simply check it uh, what you will learn total seven days online training program you also try to check and you also get the some benefit when you want to join this online training program such that you can get the course e certificate after submitting all of those assignments you will get all of those materials mainly slide pdf you will get all of this practice code as well as you also get the recorded class suppose if you miss any live training session you can easily cover using the recorded video class and you also get the lifetime teaching support so basically it's very important because when you want to learn the google Earth engine platform then you face a lot of problem so that's why you need the continuous support so for this region we are also providing the continuous support mainly lifetime teaching support when you face any problem or any issue in your code you can get the support from us okay yeah. so if you want to join then you can simply contact in my whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with my email okay yeah. so then uh, you can easily join and then you can like complete our total seven days online training program okay so today is no more thank you for watching that stay safe stay happy